Wow, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Killing a little time down at Zuma Beach since the move. It's a whole different world schedule I live in now. So I just went for a little surf and um, I was re reading my emails and a young man named Jay from the UK hit me up and uh, asked me a Asked me a different question, but was telling me about something, and I thought I would make a video about it because it's sort of it's re relevant, I think, to certain people's experience. So, um, he was saying that he's never going to drink again, you know, because his dad was a drunk and he hasn't been drinking, and you know, he feels much better. And when he gets drunk, feels like a loser. He's a young guy, twenty four, and. Uh, I, I emailed him back and I was like, I might as well make an, a video about this because I think a lot of people wonder about these things. And I'll share my own experience is this, is, you know, I've been sober, I'm coming up on 10 years. Ten, on New Year's Eve, it'll be 10 years since I put alcohol to my lips. 10 years, man. Decade. That's crazy. But I didn't, I guess the secret that I learned is, and this is just standard 12 step stuff is, if I think, if I say I'm never gonna drink again, I probably will. I, I just keep it to today. I'm not, and this is almost 10 years into it. I just keep it today. I'm not gonna drink alcohol today. I'm not gonna do drugs today. And I, and I keep it in that window, man. Because today I can do. Today's a manageable time frame for the mind, the ego. Remember, like, a lot of this is, is combating the ego. And the ego is a cunning, baffling creature. And it's alcoholism. It's, all, it's bedevilments. It's all sorts of trippy things. And, and so what the ego wants to do is, is set you up for failure constantly. So... You throw out these things of like, I'm never going to drink again for the rest of my life. Uh, I can't, I can't put that kind of pressure on myself, man. That's unrealistic. I could easily drink again because I'm an alcoholic. See, that's like, uh, that's me setting myself up, up for failure because that's not me truly understanding the disease of alcoholism. Uh, Drinking's a solution to my problem, and my problem is a spiritual deficit. You know, I have an allergy of the body. You know, if I take one drink, like the the game's on. I don't know because I haven't drank in a decade, but I, I have no idea. But I'm not going to risk it, so I'm not going to say never. So this is the this is the out I gave. This is the trick, and it's like sometimes you have to just trick your mind, right? That they, they say fake it till you make it. You know, it's it's uh act, you know, actions will dictate your reality, you know, smile till you feel happy, smiling will make you feel happy, all these kind of things. And so this is the deal. I've allowed myself the freedom to drink tomorrow. Tomorrow I can have a drink if I so desire. Today I'm not going to have, going to have one. Today I'm going to, I'm going to stay sober today. I'm going to do everything I need to do to not drink or drug today. But tomorrow I'm going to allow myself the freedom to to make that decision. The gig is this, the trick. It's never going to be tomorrow. It's always going to be today. So if I keep it in today, it's a workable time frame. So I've allowed myself the freedom to drink tomorrow. And so what is my, so I've made, I've given myself a whole out and what tomorrow looks like. So if I were to decide that I wanted to partake, let's say. So it's, it's tomorrow, if I wanted to, I would get, get a fully, like full beer truck, just full, full to the brim. Not with kegs or anything, with bottles. And they would be Sierra Nevadas and Deschutes, Deschutes up in Oregon. And they'd be the Obsidian Stouts. There'd be a bunch of those Torpedillos. There would be... Ah, oh, there'd be all that stuff in there, man. None of that IPA weird stuff. Like, dark, I'm a more of a, a dark beer kind of guy. And, you know, a bunch of Sierra Nevada. Oh, 
tasty, tasty. And so there'd be a beer truck full of that. And then inside the beer truck, there would be like a big titted brunette with just a backpack full of cocaine, just like a full backpack. Like, no, not like a purse, but like a backpack, like a full, like, you know, backpack. Like the one you see those crazy people like backpacking around, you know, South America with, you know, the, the travelers be stuffed, overflowing. And then there'd be a, that was, was that the big titted blonde? And then there would be a big titted brunette and she would have just stacks of, of LSD, just bunch of it. Not mushrooms because mushrooms are highly unpredictable and sketchy. I'm an acid kind of guy. <laughs> And uh, we would drive the beer truck up into the hills, man. Get, 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 get freaky. <laughs> uh, I know it's a little misogynistic in 2019, but you know what? You just got to have fun with the story. No offense to the ladies out there, right? <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to be offended, but whatever, dude. <laughs> It's what keeps me sober. And <laughs> so, so yeah, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all in, man. Right? I'm going to go all in. But that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Today, I'm, gonna, I'm staying sober, dude. I don't really want that story, so I'm not worried. Like, like, if it came rolling up on me today, if that truck came rolling up on that me with the... With the bikini girls and their their backpacks full of goodies, I would wave it on. Have, hey, hey, see ya. Your person's down the road because today, today I today I can manage. Tomorrow, all bets are off. So that I'm never gonna drink, never for the rest of my life, man. If you start telling yourself that, then you're just you're you're making a mistake because. Uh, as far as I know, today is forever. If you really get down to the whole like spiritual level of right here, right now, right here, right now is the infinite possibilities of all dimensions of time and space radiating out in the multi-dimensional reality where this is where God truly exists is right here, right now. So if I start putting anything out of this nowness, whether it's the future or the past, it's folly. There's no need to close the door on the past nor dwell upon it. And there's no need to future trip and be like, oh, I'm not doing this tomorrow and I'm not doing that tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. Just stay right here right now because right here, right in this minute talking to you on this camera, it's easy to maintain my sobriety. I don't know what I, dude, I have no idea what 15 minutes is going to look like. Like there's a crazy dude on a bicycle riding at me, right? Like who knows, who knows what that, like, you know what I mean? Like, reality is totally just up for grabs. All I can maintain is this moment and my my connection to God in this moment. So if I maintain my connection with God in this moment, I can maintain my sobriety in this moment. I don't need to worry about the next moment. If I'm thinking about I'm not going to drink or drug in the next moment, I might drink in this moment. See, it's it's just weird like that. So 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 sobriety and, and and not consuming bad things for your body is not about like I'm never gonna. It's just about today. Today I'm gonna not put any high fructose corn syrup in my body. I'm sure gonna do my very best today. You know what else am I not gonna do today? I'm going to try not to be an a-hole today. I'll, I don't know how it's going to go. Life's tricky. I'm going to try to be loving and kind to every human being I encounter today. You know what I mean? So if I keep it in today, the pressure's off. I can manage today. Tomorrow, oh boy, dude, I'm sunk. Dude, I start tripping on tomorrow, man. I might as well start tripping on 10 years from now. Because look, I'll tell you what, it's coming up on 10 years of sobriety. If you told me 10 years ago, I would have never had a drink of alcohol in that 10 year period. I would not have understood what you were talking about. I barely understand the concept right now. But the thing is, is, is I've stayed in today for 10 years. 
And that 10 years has added up almost to 3,650 days, dude. You know what I mean? So am I going to sit here and be like, oh, I got the next 10 years in, in the bag? No, that's folly. I've got today. And I don't even, today all bets are off. I still got to make the pillow tonight. You know what I mean? But if I stay in this moment, see, and today I can break it down into this moment, right? I can be in this moment, man. I got this moment right here, right now. God just radiating through my being, connecting to you out there. Boom, dude. That's what the dream's all about. It's what it's all about, dude. I'm fired up. I'm fired up on my sobriety, man, because I'm not tripping about being fired up about it tomorrow. I'm fired up on it right here, right now. Thank you, Jay, for sending me that email. Hey, links down below. Support the channel, PayPal, whatever, whatever. Buy some t-shirts, The no shipping for the next couple weeks, and um, emails, P.O. Box, all that good stuff, and uh Use the name tags, be kind to yourself, and just stay in this very moment. And we got, we, kept, we got a shot at it. All right, it's The Illusion. I'm out.